So this hot spot on our nose, down here on our lips, we can take care of that by using the clone stamp and pulling the opacity down. So I'm going to start with about 30%. This is not um, set in stone. You might want to experiment. So I'm going to make this a little bit larger. I'm going to make the brush larger. And remember, when I'm working in this tool, I always want a super soft edge brush. So my hardness is set to zero. Okay. Hit return to put that away. So I'm going to set my source point up here on our nose. Option click and just start to remove that. See how it lessened that glare. Now the thing we want to be careful of is not to lose the dimensionality of her face. You don't want to flatten out the face and that's something that happens quite frequently. So I'm going to make this smaller. I'm going to come up here above her lip and I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to go right over this. I'm going to take the opacity up for her lips. I'm just going to rebuild the lips down here a little bit and work on rebuilding this a little bit as well. And remember, you want to be careful not to, there we go, that's looking pretty good, not to lose the shape. Okay, now, if I move up here into our forehead, we're going to make this larger, and we're going to make this less again. And I'm just going to option click in here and just kind of try to dull it down a little bit. We don't want to totally flatten it out. And I, ooh, yeah, that looks okay. You have to be careful of that hair up there. Make this a little smaller. Come over here a little bit. Come up in here. Okay, let's turn that eyeball on and off and see how we're doing. Oh, it's looking so much better. Very, very good. Okay, now, that trick is great. The next thing I want to do is I want to work on this neck area right here where it's getting kind of dark. So I'm going to continue to use the clone stamp tool. I'm going to change the opacity to 50% and we're going to do something totally different here. So let's make this take this up to 50%. I'm using the scrubby slider. Notice whenever I click on the opacity or flow, any place where there's a percentage, I can just slide it um, rather than having to come in here and click. Okay, so opacity 51%, and then I'm going to pull this down to, let's see here, lighten. Blend mode set to lighten. And what we're going to do now is come over here, make this brush big, and just kind of tone down these darker areas. So when we change the blend mode to lighten, it's not affecting the lighter areas, it's only affecting the dark area. So we're set our source point here. So anything that's darker than this point is what it's going to be um, working on. Um, I didn't like that last one, so I'm going to do a Command Z. I might pull the opacity down a little bit more. So remember, all of this stuff is just a start point. So that's a great technique for lightening things up. Okay, let's see here. Let's make this a little bit smaller, see how we're doing. Ah, oh, incredible, huh?